Uh, I have been off for the past couple of days. Reese Colbert uh, filled in for me uh, on a Tuesday. Uh, Larry Walker filled in on yesterday. Uh, if y'all want to pull a video up, we were, of course, I had to fly back to Alabama uh, because uh, Deshaun Smith, who is uh, our driver, he was driving the Rover Mobile, our Sprinter, from New Orleans back to uh, D.C. with our equipment. Uh, when uh, he was uh, he was he was basically um, forced to swerve. So there was a white man driving a white Malibu, who kept like Deshaun would change a lane, he would change a lane. Deshaun would change a lane back, he would change a lane back. This kept going back and forth. Uh, folks, if y'all could go ahead and uh, uh, play the video, uh, if you have that. Uh, and so Deshaun said that he decided to back off. Uh, allowed this guy to go forward and what this guy did was something that was just absolutely heinous so what he did was uh, he actually uh, pulled up alongside Deshaun looked at him smiled jumped in front of him and then slammed on his brakes uh, causing the Deshaun to swerve uh, uh, and uh, the uh, the sprinter flipped over y'all uh, flipped over seven times uh, Chad Washington uh, who's driving our other SUV uh, from behind, uh, Chad said he actually thought uh, Deshaun uh, did not make it. If y'all go to my YouTube channel, y'all or y'all can go to my Facebook page, y'all can pull a video up. Y'all not show these photos. Come on now, it's a video show. Uh, you'll see the video when we arrived on the scene yesterday uh, to the actual uh, to actually see it. And so, it's significant. So you see all the damage. Uh, the Robomobile is totaled. It's completely totaled. Now, all these folks, I, I, I posted something on, on Instagram, uh, and the folks have been talking about, oh, y'all were underinsured. No. When we insured the vehicle, we could only insure it up to 125000 It cost 195000 They would not allow us to insure it for more. Uh, and so, yes, we looked at gap coverage and all that sort of stuff. That was a deal. So uh, there was a black upfitter company out of Atlanta. It's the only black upfitter company in America. We are talking with them right now. We're designing uh, our next printer. Uh, they put a rush order in. They contacted Mercedes. Uh, Mercedes has looked at uh, uh, th th what happened here. And, in fact, their engineers are studying our video saying that there are safety features exactly what they were supposed to do because what happened was when it was impact, uh, all of the airbags in the driver's cabin, only Deshaun was in the Sprinter, they all came out and pretty much created a cocoon around him. And so he was able to walk out through the front window. Uh, he suffered contusions on his body. Uh, his thumb was injured, but that was it. That was it. We got him, yes, he came out of the hospital later that day. We got him yesterday. We went down to Birmingham. We got all of our equipment out of uh, the Sprinter. Uh, we got to be in Birmingham in a couple of weeks for uh, the um, uh, for the SWAT Media Day. So uh, Sheila Smoot, former journalist, uh, we we left a number of our items with her. We then loaded the other SUV back. They drove that back. We didn't want Deshaun flying because of a concussion issues, uh, and so we didn't want him flying because we could have swelling in the brain. Uh, so Deshaun is back. Uh, Chad is back. We are we're so glad that they are well. But y'all see the level of damage. Uh, to the vehicle it is completely destroyed and so we are working right now uh, to get a second one and so I want to thank all of y'all uh, folks in Alabama uh, folks in Louisiana people all around the country uh, they've been calling they've been texting uh, folks were stopping me in the airport uh, yesterday out of the White House today folks were stopping me there people had heard about it uh, and so we appreciate everybody uh, and like I posted on Instagram uh, we're gonna have to you know look Obama is gonna cost us probably another 75 to a hundred thousand dollars uh to uh to pay for to pay for a new one and so uh that's what we have to do uh you know i have people talking about oh what about all the advertising money bottom line y'all uh nobody budgets all of a sudden have to drop another seventy five thousand hundred thousand on a vehicle that we only got 18 months ago uh so again i just want to thank everybody for calling and texting you'll have been commenting on all of your prayers uh we certainly appreciate it uh look equipment can be replaced we've got to replace some of our cameras other stuff but you can't replace somebody's life and so we certainly are glad uh, that, that that deshaun uh is well uh and and again and, and erica look you, you understand how serious this is the serious brain injury you suffered last year uh and for him to walk out of that sprinter through the front window uh with just a, a slight concussion uh is indeed a miracle
And I know it's tough for you, Erica, uh, to see that because what you went through uh, and you've gone through a whole a more than a year of rehab. Uh, and when you had your accident, um, you talked about uh, just how, how painful it was. And uh, again, no, there was no one else. Luckily, no one else is in the vehicle. Uh, and folks, this person did this on purpose. Unfortunately, nobody captured his license uh, or nothing. But he literally, he literally looked at Deshaun, smiled at him, and pulled in front and slammed his brakes, causing Deshaun to have to swerve. Roland, I will say this with relationship to um, Deshaun. Praise God he's still with us. Um, because March 15, 2021, the 18-wheel truck that hit me, the driver did that intentionally as well. He hit my car, which is a Mercedes, thank God, um, German engineer tank twice from the back. And the doctor that I saw when I got back home said to me that, Erica, it was not only your faith, it was that car that saved your life. And so when people get into their cars, my boyfriend and partner was just talking to me around this. They they get into their own world. And so that somebody would be so amped up in their car that they would listen that they would literally weaponize their vehicle and cause undue harm to a person is completely, completely sinister. Um I um am grateful that my partner sent me a clip of what you shared on social media and I saw kind of your update, but I um, he cropped out so that I didn't see the pictures um, because that's still very difficult for me to see um, car crashes, to be very honest with you. So I stepped away when those um, photographs and video was being shown, but it's important for the audience to see because they need to see not just the crash, but they need to see um, that that was an intentional act um, and that that could have cost someone that, their life. Um, what I will say yep. with regard to Deshaun having that level of accident, my prayer is that he um, is granted um, all of the <clears throat> space that he needs for healing and he is afforded all of the care that he needs and that I'm so, so very glad that he's still here um, with us today to still testify to his life. and. May he have as much grace um, to heal. Um. Uh, you know, Reese, it's real interesting. Uh, you know, I, I always got these haters out here, uh, and they're like, oh, uh, he asking for money. Uh, Bottom line is here. You know, we travel around this country covering stories nobody else covers. Uh, and, and the reality is uh, there are going to be HBCU campuses we're going to. There will be places we're going. And I'm fully transparent. Uh, somebody just posted on uh, YouTube, Roland, I think full car insurance will cover your van. Please don't say you're raising money to get a new van. Just say you're raising money, bro. I found that to be misleading. Viewers are smarter. No, I'm telling you exactly why we're raising money. I'm very honest. I don't sit here in front because I'm showing our viewers what their resources are going to. Yeah, and y'all, that's what you took out of Roland's testimony, out of Deshaun's testimony, out of Erica's testimony is, is, is Roland it must be just trying to get some money. Go to hell, bitch. I'm so sick of y'all. Like, like, take a moment and take in what's happening. Take in the lesson. Take in life that's unfolding in front of you. Instead of just always trying to jump in on some bullshit and on some petty shit. Come on. Do better. Do better than that. If you don't want to give, if you ain't got it to give, don't give. But you can shut the fuck up and not give. You don't have to be loud and not give. Nobody is twisting your arms. Nobody is docking your pay. If you, fi if you have it in your heart... And if you have the ability to give, then give. And see how simple that is? It's simple. But at any rate, whether you give or don't give, I just thank God for Erica, for her being here with us. I thank God for Deshaun. And I thank God for the entire Roland Martin unfiltered family because we are a family. This ain't CNN. This ain't Disney behind us. It ain't whoever Fox behind us. It's a family. 
And if you don't look out for family, that's that's on you. That's not on Roland. That doesn't speak to Roland's character. That speaks to your character. And if you ain't got it, you ain't got it. I understand it. But don't be a belligerent asshole about it. And, if I can and you know, Greg, uh, Bob Mons is here. Uh, the, the, uh, Erica, 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 go ahead. Go ahead, Erica. Go ahead. And I just want to say with regard with, to what Reese said, to tack on to what she said, it was Roland Martin and Filter. It was my big brother, Roland. It was my sister, Reese. It was Dr. Greg Carr. It was Dr. Avis Jones the Weaver. It was all of RMU staff that was cash apping me because you don't know what the hell Deshaun is going to have gaps for. So, as Reese said, if you don't have it to give, that's cool. But the bottom line is what Roland does, he's completely transparent about every damn monitor all pieces of equipment, what he needs, what he's desiring to present excellence to us. And as Reese said, if you ain't got it to give, don't give it. But damn, don't use your keyboard cowardice and type something when he's doing exactly what he's been doing for several years now, which is being transparent, being very honest, laying to bear it, what it is. And so I'm going to make sure the same way that Reese and Roland did that I give to make sure that I am um, acting on the law of reciprocity the same way the Roland Martin Unfiltered family did for me. Greg, uh, Carr, uh, take us home. You know, brother, all I can do is echo what Reese and uh, what Erica have said. In fact, right now here in Washington, D.C., there is a whole staff. You just got through transporting a dozen and a half of that staff to cover Essence Fest. And it was widely covered on CNN. It was in the New York Times. I saw it all over MSNBC. Uh, wait. Yeah, no, I didn't. But at any rate, that staff that you have has a graphic that they show near the end of every show with all the ways to give. And I'm sure they have it right there. They could put it up while I'm talking, I suspect, was so that you don't have to ask them to do it. And I know they will because they are a crack staff. They're volunteers, of course. And they, wait. Oh, you know. Okay, yeah. And so all the shows on the Black Star Network, and it doesn't cost money to get launched over, over the top. Wait. Yeah. And then all the producers who work for the Black Star Network, I mean, you know, they're obviously volunteers. Wait, uh, wait no. I'm trying to think of who is actually volunteering. It might be the guy with the microphone who doesn't take a salary, who does speaking engagements and who started a whole ass network out of his mind by working for years long before he left those other engagements, whether it be CNN, whether it be TV one with this in his mind, that this was the vision. And here we are at a watershed moment that has unfolded over the course of the last several years, including two of which, which was a whole ass pandemic. Now, to get to Savannah, to get to Georgia to help get the vote out, to get to Louisiana, to get all over the South, to go on location, to have to cover all the congressional hearings, to have people in front of cameras and streamed forever, permanently on over all these platforms and an archive that can be accessed at any time, you know, it costs money. And so... In a minute, Roland, I hope, you know, you'll remind us of how many people you have, whether it be Instagram, whether it be Twitter, whether it be Facebook, whether it be YouTube, combined across all those platforms. And I agree with my sisters. You know, if you don't have it, don't give. I am going to put some money on it right now as soon as we get off it as I get on a train and head to the Mayflower Hotel. Because guess what? <laughs> I did not see. I did not see Fred Gray interviewed on CNN. I didn't see Don Lemon in that room today. I didn't see Rachel Maddow in that room. So she you want to talk about being such a feminist, why weren't you talking to Diane Nash? I'll tell you why. Because you don't give a damn about Diane Nash. Let me tell you about Diane Nash on the worst day of her life. It's better than the best day of your life, Rachel Maddow. And I'm not, I'm not saying that because you're anybody to talk about. I'm just saying it because some of y'all think that white media is somehow the gold standard. Roland, Roland Martin, you have been and continue to be in those places where our people are. How many people wouldn't know Gary Chambers if you hadn't talked to him? How many people wouldn't know who Charles Booker, you was talking to Charles Booker before he <laughs> blew up. You know what I'm saying? And, and who, today, Brittany Griner, it's a big story now, but how many people would have taken it from the way that you took it? My, my bottom line, if you don't have it, 
guess what? Everybody who does is making it possible for everybody who doesn't to share this resource. Because last I checked, YouTube is free to us, but it costs you mm-hmm. money to put it together. That, that, look, man, that hey. rural mill should be retired by the end of this show. Please, y'all, I know you ain't, I know you were saying wrong, but let me, ask, let me ask for you, brother. Please, team, sitting in that beautiful, uh, and of course, they don't charge you any rent. Wait. Oh, yeah. They, I guess they do. <laughs> Put that graphic back up again. Do y'all see the Cash app? Do y'all see the PayPal? Do you see the Venmo? Do you see the Zelle? This is not the Black Star YouTube show, haters. This is the Black Star Daily Digital Network, Roland Martin Unfiltered, the flagship show. And for old folk like my mom and them was, who would write a check out in that precise machine handwriting, P.O. Box 57196, Washington, D.C., 20037-0196. Y'all do that. Let's retire this right now. It should it should be a new roll roller bill completely paid for by the time. And th- I should end with this, Roland. Did you say it's a black-owned company? Let me tell you about Roland Martin. Uh, While y'all talking company. about this black empowerment and running out and giving your money for tennis shoes and the latest this and that and letting your master have your last dime. Roland Martin looks for black people. Go to his studio, black art, black people hung the lights, black people string together electronics, black people all over the walls. He done found a black company to replace it. So guess what? By the time that thing comes here, now not only should it be paid for, we ought to have another reserve to, to 200K, 200K to pay for that. Brother Deshaun, he your brother. And you fool to smile to maybe be watching this right now. Oh, your day's coming, baby. You and that damn 18 wheel wheeler driver that tried to do something to our sister Erica, and but she's protected by something much bigger than you will ever glimpse in your miserable I'll life. So y'all I'll put this on. Well, folks, Sorry, uh, <laughs> well, I certainly appreciate it, Greg, Reese, and Erica. Thank you so very much. All right, folks, back to my my unfiltered video in just one moment. Love our new Alexa. It's a Buick. Yeah. Alexa. Buick. Alexa. It's a Buick. It's an Alexa. It's a Buick. It's an Alexa. Coach, that's a Buick. That's an Alexa. The Buick Enclave with available Alexa built in. Folks, Black Star Network is here. Hold no punches. A real uh, revolutionary right now. (laughs) Support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. Thank you for being the voice of Black America, Roland. I love y'all. All momentum we have now. We have to keep this going. The video looks phenomenal. See, this difference between Black Star Network and Black-owned media and something like CNN. You can't be Black-owned media and be scared. It's time to be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You dig?